Now let's create tight 90 degree turns such as you see here. So let's navigate to our four intersection road that we created earlier. And uh, to create tight 90 degree turns uh, we'll be using the block tool and under categories where you see primitives under objects you want to use the drop down menu and select arch. So let's go into the top viewport. Let's navigate to our road and we are going to create a 90 degree turn right here in this road that you see here. So before we begin uh, we have to cover a few basics. First we got to make sure that we are snapped on to grid set at 16. Uh, you can have a little high, you can set it at 32. Uh, I like to work at 16 at this point. And we need to select our texture that we're going to be using for the road. We're going to be using the same texture that we see here on the four-way intersection. So I'm simply going to use the face edit sheet and make sure that we have uh, this road set. And you can see here on the right hand side that we have this texture set. So now we're going to select the block tool. Uh, we're going to navigate into the top viewport and making sure that our primitive is selected to the arch tool and we're going to draw out a template. This template is going to cover 256 by 256 block. Since our road that we see here that we have for a four-way intersection we created earlier, this road was created with width at 256 which is perfect for a two-lane road. So we're going to keep true to that and when we create our 90 degree turns we will be using 256 by 256. So in the top view simply begin to draw out your template 256 by 256 click enter and as we do that our arch properties tool comes up so the first thing we want to do is wall width for tight 90 degree turns our wall width has to be half size of the road so we're going to set this to 128 and we're going to click preview for our arc here at 360 which creates a full circle uh, we don't want that, we want to set this to 90 because we want a 90 degree turn. So we're going to set it to 90, we're going to click preview and now we can see that it creates a wedge which is perfect for a tight 90 degree turn. Number of sides we're going to keep it at 8. If you want a more refined curve uh, you can set it at 16 but 8 works fine. For arc uh, we're going to keep it at 90. Uh, start angle is going to tell us where this curve starts. So right now we have a start angle at 360. If we keep this at right angles every time, so if we keep this at 90, it's going to start at a different point of the angle. And if we keep this in multiple of 90s, such as 180, 270, or 360, these values correspond to a nice straight edge that will fit right onto our grid and uh, be aligned with the road. And the way you can tell where this angle will start is if you pay attention to this preview and look at your top down view. So let's set this at 360. Preview and yep and it's gonna go and curve right. At height this value provides that every single number of sides is going to be raised this many units. So if we set this to 8 it's gonna create uh, a spiral staircase which each brush going up 8 units and we want to set this to 0. And after we click OK, we're going to have our road created. And so we have this road. If we go into the selection tool, we can simply drag this and position it right into uh, creating our right-hand turn. And if we deselect it, now we have a tight 90 degree turn. Now we need to align our textures. So the textures are curved along the curved surface just like we have here. So go into the face edit sheet and first we need to make sure that our side of the straight brush before it curves uh, is aligned. So right here this face that we have here needs to be aligned with the top face. So in order for us to do that first select the top face then hold down alt and right click onto the side face. Now that we have this texture set and aligned to the top face, I'll to right click along the entire curved surface only on the side and then we're going to transfer that to 
the top faces. So let's select the side of the straight brush, hold down Alt and right click on the next face and just continue right clicking along the edge of the curved surface. Now we need to select the face of the side of the brush, hold down Alt with this texture selected we need to Alt right click the top of the face. Then we need to repeat the same function that we did for this brush on all other brushes. Uh, we cannot select this face and try to Alt right click on all other faces. As you can see here that it doesn't align properly as we needed to. We need to select each texture of the brush and Alt right click on top of that face. So then we need to transition over to the next brush, select it first, Alt right click to the top. Select it first, Alt right click to the top and we continue doing that Alt select it first, Alt right click to the top. And as we can see here that we have a tight 90 degree turn with the textures aligned to the curved surface. So this is how you create a tight 90 degree turn for your roads and we can simply take this brush and our next step is we need to tie it to a function entity uh, because this is a complex brush to make it easier on a compiler we tie it to an entity which is if you control T or if you go down to tools with the brush selected you can go down to tie entity right here control T function detail is the default click apply and now this is a entity so the next step is you can just simply take this and we can duplicate it and move it around to where we need it and we have our tight 90 degree turn now let's create a four lane road tight 90 degree turn I'm going to go into the top view go into my brush make sure that I have the arc selected I'm going to draw out 512 by 512 so it needs to be a perfect square uh, and it needs to be aligned with the row that we have created. So now that we have the template brush created, press enter and we need to wall width needs to be half the size of the road. So 128 doesn't apply here. We need to set it to 256. Click preview. And we can see here the number of sides set to 8. Uh, let's leave it at that. Arc which is 90 degree turn. Uh, that's perfect. Start angle. That's right. And just click OK. And we need to take our brush, position it, and we have a tight 90 degree turn here. So let's do the same thing to align the textures. We're going to go into the face edit sheet. And first, we need to select the straight road and then Alt right click onto the side. And uh, we already have done that. And now we're just simply going to select the texture on the side of the road for the straight road, hold Alt, right click on all of the side faces of the curved surface. So we're going to select this brush, Alt, right click to the top, and we're just going to continue doing that for every brush. Making sure that we select the side first and apply it to that top of the brush. And now if we go into the top view, and now we have a tight not a degree turn of a four lane road. Now let's cover how to create a wide 90 degree turn that we see here and here. We're going to use the same function, the arch tool, as we did for the tight 90 degree roads here, and we're going to create a, a wide 90 degree turn coming from this edge on the bottom. First, let's select the block tool and making sure that we are on the primitives, uh, the object is set to arch. And we need to make sure that we have the texture selected. So go to the face edit sheet, let's select it, let's close it. So here we have on the right hand side the current texture is set to concrete road 01. For wide 90 degree turns, the step is a bit different than it is for a tight 90 degree turn. In order for us to have a wide 90 degree turn curve around and have enough space, we need to double the template. So our road is set to 256. So what we're going to do is we need to set our template to 512 by 512. Making sure that 
in a top view it lines up so the reason is is we need enough space for it to curve right here so now that we have our template and we need to press enter go into the arch properties tool and make sure that our preview is going to correspond to the top view so our wall width is set to 256 and again we need to set it to 128 as it needs to be half of the road number of sides 8 is fine you can increase this to 16 just know that there's going to be 16 brushes I'm going to put it to 8 the arc is 90 which is we are creating a 90 degree turn start angle again this is the top view and it doesn't correspond to it you can uh, you can leave this at default whatever it is you just simply rotate the finished brush so let's set the start angle to 180 we're going to leave add height at 0 and we're going to click OK and here's our brush we simply take this and position it to uh, align with the road next we simply need to apply the same technique as we did for a tight 90 degree turn to align the textures on the top face so now we have both sides of the texture and we can just simply work with one side and then apply the line texture from the side onto the top faces so select the face edit sheet making sure we select the straight road first select the top face alt right click onto the side and we already have it applied next we need to select the side align brush and we need to alt right click along the edge of the curved surface so select the straight road first hold on alt right click and just continue alt right clicking on the side of the faces of the curved surface in order for you to apply the texture and align the road on the top we need to select each individual face on the side and apply it to the top we need to select the face first alt right click the top and then we're gonna do that for every brush alt right click on the top select alt right click just continue doing that until all the brushes of the curved surface are aligned and if we go up we can see that we have a wide 90 degree turn curving along with the textures aligned properly next we need to simply select the brush control T turn it into function detail and now we have a template that we can simply duplicate and reuse on any other part of the road so if we go into the top view we can just simply take this duplicate it rotate it and position it now let's apply the same principles and create a four lane road and have a wide not a degree turn so we're going to first make sure that we have the same texture for the road select and then we're going to choose the block tool and under objects make sure we are under arch we're going to go into the top view and here in the top view we're going to draw out a brush that's going to be double the size of the road our road for a four lane road is set to 512 width so we're going to set our template brush to 1024 by 1024 so for wide 90 degree turns double the size of the template for the turn now that we have our template brush created we're simply going to press enter for wall width we're going to input the value of 256 because it needs to be half the size of the road number of sides I'm going to set it to 8 uh, but you can set it to a higher value for a, a nice smooth transition of a curve. Uh, for arc I'm going to set it to 90 because it's a 90 degree turn. So preview this is what we're going to get and click OK. And this is not exactly what we wanted. We can just simply take the brush and we can rotate it. And then we have to position it and it's going to line up exactly to the road that we had previously created here. So now we just need to apply alt right click texture alignment to the curved surface making sure that our texture aligns just like we have on the tight road so we're gonna go into the face edit sheet 
selecting the top face of the straight brush and then alt right click onto the side of the texture and it already had the texture applied so now we just simply select the side of the brush and then alt right click along the curved surface on the side of the brush we're going to select each face and alt right click to the top of the face making sure we do that for each of the eight brushes and then alt right click to the top select select alt right click and just continue doing that for every brush and then if we go up we have a wide 90 degree four lane turn 